Wow. Another loss. Another heartbreaking loss. Another heartbreaking loss to the Baltimore Ravens. What do you know? I don't have any words. I'm, I, I, I don't even like... Like, I was livid when it was 21 to... You know, when, when they scored 21, 21 on insert points, it was 28-21. I was livid. I cooled down. But now I don't even know what to say. Like, I expected this to happen. When it was 21-7, I knew this team is not the type to hold on to games, especially against this team that's owned them since 2022. And they've just... They always find a way to win, and we don't. And they do something about it, we don't. I mean, after the momentum shifted, after the Chase Brown fumble... They did nothing. They did nothing to offset it. The offense stalled on the next couple drives. I mean, what the hell? When are we gonna beat this team? First of all, shout out to Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. Incredible games. Joe Burrow, 428 yards, four touchdowns. Jamar Chase, 264, three touchdowns. And it wasn't enough to beat this team. All that for a loss. This team is four and Jamar Chase has the triple crown right now, and this team is four and six. I don't even know where to start with this defense. The fact that these two are putting up these numbers, and they're four and six. And what are you doing going for it on fourth and two? I mean, no, no, you know what? Scratch that. I don't mind the fourth and two call going for it. But two deep shots to Jermaine Burton on third and fourth. Well, one was to Jamar Chase. First of all, I hate that call. I said that last week against the Raiders when we did that same call. Two deep shots, one to Burton. I don't know what Burrow was seeing there. I don't know why he threw it deep. But Zach Taylor, what are you doing? Now, I will say, that fourth down, that, that two-point attempt on the um, uh, the last drive, that tied the game. I'm not mad about that at all, actually. I mean, let me tell you. The Ravens in overtime, they showed they could beat us. Lamar Jackson's been great in overtime. The Ravens have been great in overtime. When you come down, when it comes down to an overtime shootout, you don't want that. Especially with how the defense has played. And the, you know, how the Ravens were taking advantage of that. But, like, look, I, I, I don't understand those, those two deep shots. That... That just shows what kind of coach you're becoming. Seriously. Everybody says he wants you fired. And I'm starting to see why as a play caller. I mean, as a head coach. I, I just said, as a, I always say, play caller, this dude needs to be relieved of his duties. But as a head coach, I mean, he's fine. Because he gives guys accountability. But he takes accountability for himself. But he does nothing about it. Neither is our GM. Why did we trade for Khalil Herbert, who, tra who, who, by the way, fumbled on the first play? We did nothing to address that defense. Nothing. So, from coaching, I can't even get over how bad coaching is. Seriously. Like, seriously, I was flabbergasted watching how they went, how they went for it on, you know, on, on third and fourth. That was ridiculous. The fact that they blew this game against a division rival and the Ravens never looked back after that Chase Brown fumble. They did everything they wanted to do. whoop de doo We got an 80-yard touchdown to Jamar Chase. Our team is wasting their incredible seasons. And also, of course, in addition to the Bengals losing, like they blew first of all they blew a twenty seven a twenty one to seven lead, but also let's not forget that eighty four yard touchdown pass to uh is it Tylen Wallace or whatever his name is? That was the one of the some of the worst tar tackling effort I've ever seen. I think it was CTB and then it was Logan Wilson. That was some of the worst effort I've ever seen. And the final four drives, Lamar just did like look, on some of those it was just Lamar being one of one. It's it wasn't anybody's fault. But he looked unstoppable. And the worst part is, I knew it was, I had a feeling. I'm not trying to sound like LeBron after Kobe's 81 point game, but I had a feeling. Because this team, 
I always say it. Bad teams find ways to lose. Bad franchises find way to lose. And that's not to say this league is not scripted. This league is absolutely scripted. For teams like the Chiefs, the Ravens, the Patriots. Maybe not recently, but in past, you know, the Steelers, the, the, the Packers. I don't know if I mentioned the Packers twice, but anyway. These type of teams are what the league is made for. Also, the marketing, the Cowboys. This is, the, this is what the league is. And speaking of the scripted-ass league, another NFL refs masterclass. Yay! The final drive. No roughing the passer call on Joe Burrow. How many times are you going to not protect him? You protect Mahomes. And, like, you protect, like, pretty much, like, even Lamar at times. Burrow, you protected, like, okay, you called one roughing the passer. whoop de doo on, on the, That was clearly roughing the passer, and you got absolutely destroyed. And you missed a holding on Gesicki. Like, are you kidding me, man? He got he literally got tackled to the ground. <gasps> oh, wait. The Bengals got uh, some previous calls. Name me one of those calls that were incorrect calls. There were so many missed calls. Even though there was a block. I think that, I don't know if it was Andrews, but it was somebody. What, some of the most ridiculous and most like atrocious officiating I've ever seen. But you know what? This is, you know why this isn't hurt as much as the the Ravens' first game? I told myself after that game, I said, you know, I'm starting to see, first of all, it's one thing. Bad teams, they find ways to lose regardless. Two, I'm just starting to see what, what this league is. And look, we did so many things to shoot ourselves in the foot. But this has been a consistent theme. And I don't remember a team getting this robbed like the Bengals have over the last three years. I just, I have not seen a team get more robbed. I could be biased. I don't care. Because we've, got, we've gotten robbed so many times. This is just ridiculous, by the way. NFL officiating does nothing about it. Because NFL officiating, as Roger Goodell said, it's been the best that it, it's been the best that it has been in quite a while. What a joke, man. I mean, this league is... It's, it's, it's seriously a shame what this league has become. Seriously. Can't believe I... I, I, I can't believe, like, they, they missed those two calls. Like, I don't even know what to say, man. I'm, I'm just livid at this, like, this... Uh, first of all, I'm livid... More livid at the Bengals than I am the refs. But after that final play, I don't know how you can't be, you can't be livid at the refs. So many missed calls. No protection for Burrow. You protect so many NFL players more than him. I don't get it, man. Seriously, I don't. But anyway, my final thoughts, guys, before I get out of here. I really want to get out of here. I just want to forget about this game. The Cavaliers and the Warriors play tomorrow. Cavs are going to, you know, they're going for 10-0. Hopefully they can get that job, the job done. But I, I got to say, the Bengals can afford to lose one more game max to sneak into the playoffs. Their AFC record is an absolute atrocity. We'll see what you do against LA next week on a 10-day break. What a joke, man. I'm out. Four and six.